at this point, I think it's safe to say Frank Ocean will be dropping a project on all streaming services very soon. Before I even get into the video, as a lot of y'all probably know, I will be going to Coachella week one and um, I'm going alone, but I decided to actually be part of this group chat of a lot of people that are also going alone to Coachella week one. We're called the Strawberry Swingers and it's really dope. Great community, people from all around the world and we all share this you know, common thing, we love Frank Ocean's music. We're gonna be a whole gang, a whole group, we're gonna be all together as we try to get to the barricades for the Frank Ocean concert on Sunday. So if you're going to Coachella and you wanna be part of this group, guys, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram, my Instagram's right here. Hit me up and I'll add you gladly to the group chat. And it's really fun, we talk about a lot of things and it's gonna be crazy. And I believe that with this, you know, community, I'm gonna try on my end to make a whole vlog, a whole documentary of Frank Cella. And if you wanna be a part of it, make sure to get into the group chat. I'm gonna be asking a lot of people questions, you know, interview, like what's your favorite Frank Ocean song, Channel Orange or Blonde, and stuff like that. And I'm gonna document the whole, you know, trip that I'll put on my YouTube channel. So if you wanna be part of this dopeness and you're going to Coachella, if you're going alone and you wanna be part of the Strawberry Swingers group, let me know. Gladly you're gonna add you, just, you know, hit me up on Instagram to do that. And while we're at it, I'm just gonna unbox this and let y'all see what is in a Coachella package that they gave me. So right here we have the pass. Um, that's what it looks like. Um, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Things that you put when you lose your stuff. There's a QR code and stuff. I have a shuttle pass, of course, because I'm going with my car. We got stickers. If y'all want me to, I could give this to somebody, a fan. This is, a, I guess, the map of the place. And we have, like, a lot of things, man. Like, this, I don't know what the hell is this. Um, I mean, shadow box. I, yeah, you can create a shadow box, I guess. It's, 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 it's pretty difficult, like, 7 out of 10 difficult. Anyway, so there's all this fun stuff. Um, I don't I listen, if somebody I could I could give it to somebody. I don't I don't really care for this, but that's pretty much all I have in my Coachella stuff. But anyway, we all know what's important. This wristband right here. So guys, if you're going to Coachella, hit me up on my Instagram and I'll put you in the group chat. But uh that's pretty much it. So guys, if you're going there, see you week one, or you're gonna catch me on the vlog I'm gonna make for Coachella, Frank Cella. But that's pretty much it. So let's get back into the video. Hey, what's up? Welcome back, guys, to the Kill Ivan show. And I think everybody knows there's a lot of things brewing in Coachella right now, okay? BMWs, E30s, and Orange being spotted everywhere. Listen, it is going crazy on Reddit. It's going crazy on Twitter. On TikTok, it's going crazy. It seems like Frank Ocean will be dropping a project on streaming services. But... It's not what you think. Before I start anything, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Kill Ivan. You can follow me on IG. All my socials are down in the description. Just hit the link tree. You have all my socials. And guys, Frank Ocean will be releasing new music to streaming services. So around March 27th, there's this Twitter page called Unthinized that exposes actually a text thread with a rapper called Paperboy and Frank Ocean's team. And this rapper called Paperboy is very known to own, he's from the San Francisco area. If I'm not mistaken, please correct me if I am. And he owes a BMW E30 M3. And if you know what a BMW E30 M3 is, well, it's the same car that Frank Ocean had on his legendary mixtape, Nostalgia Ultra. So Paperboy, the, I don't know if he's a rapper or he's a personality on Instagram. I don't really know much about him, but he does own a BMW E30 M3. However, it's white. Now, if you look on the text thread you can see that on april 3rd they're supposed to wrap the vehicle till april 5th and then april 6th transport the car to coachella now what had everybody really in a frenzy is on what was supposed to happen on the 8th on the 8th it says that they were supposed to shoot sign and garage teaser and on the 9th shoot album cover plates pickups beauty now this have everybody going crazy because shooting an album cover if you shoot an album cover it means that there's probably an album coming up and like everybody was making their theories. Everybody was going crazy. I mean, I made my fair share of TikTok videos. I even made a YouTube video. It's going to be linked up somewhere. It's going to show up saying that Frank Ocean might be making a new album. I was kind of mistaken. So I'm going to get into that point. But before I want to say that this rumor kind of got debunked. People said it was fake until April the 8th something crazy happened okay on the 8th what happened basically is that and shout out first of all i want to go big huge shout out to tofu media for covering this and from you know on his community page showing some pictures of a bmw e30 m3 in orange being shown on coachella ground so shout out to him go and check his stuff out he's an incredible youtuber and i want to add also that in one of tofu media's video there's actually a coachella native that commented this right here coachella local here 
If the text thread is real, then that would explain why a very oddly similar BMW orange roll cage was spotted on Avenue 50th and Jackson down the road from the festival grounds yesterday, April 7, 2023. So not only did a local say that he's been spotting a BMW E30 M3, there's more to this. We also see pictures of a BMW E30 M3 in orange next to a sign saying Coachella. So at this point, it had Twitter, TikTok, I mean, everything you could believe YouTube going crazy because at this point, we're like, dog, were the Paperboy leaks a fake or not? Is he trying to throw us off? Because at this point, we don't really know because we see a BMW E30 M3 at Coachella and they were matching it with the text thread and everything that was predicted in the text thread happened. So at this point, we don't know what to believe. Like, is he going for a new album? Is this going to be about the Coachella set? We don't really know. And it comes to what I believe is going to happen, okay? And this is what I think. I think that he's gonna release Nostalgia Ultra on streaming services. Now, before I get on the reasons why, because a lot of people are gonna say he can't, he doesn't own the samples, this, that, and the third. I just wanna continue with the chronological story and why I believe that there's evidence that he's gonna be releasing Nostalgia Ultra to streaming services. But let's go on. So, all of that happening, all this craziness happening, something official happened, which is like the craziest thing. BMW USA's page posted a video at a garage with a BMW E30 M3 in orange and the garage doors are going up. Now, if you remember on the text thread, April 9th, that's when it's supposed to be the art cover shoot at a garage. It matches the storyline. The days match up, everything is matching up, which is coming to the point that he might honestly re-release this mixtape, this legendary mixtape on streaming services. Now, another thing that crazy happened, okay, is BMW posting more stories, more reels about, you know, the BMW E30. And let me just read their captions because they're playing with us at this point. On the first post with the garage doors going up, they say, feeling ultra nostalgic, so to speak, with a orange guys that is come on at this point bro like be subtle about it they're definitely talking about frank ocean and on the next post you see you know welcome to city of coachella and you see the past means the future this week as far as what comes next well we'll let you guys prophesize let you guys prophesize come on that's nikes so they're quoting blonde the past means the future honestly at this point the past means the future he's putting it the, look the mixtape was never on streaming services streaming services are the future so i'm expecting he's gonna put the album on apple music title spotify all those stuff okay now the reason why i believe he's going to put it on streaming services is the following first of all i just want to profess that i've made multiple videos saying that frank ocean can't release nostalgia ultra there was a lot of controversy when it came to these these spotify pages posting you know decade old frank ocean songs i'm talking about ocean 16 blonde dead and i made multiple videos saying that he can't drop these songs because he doesn't own them i said that you know the eagles hate him and i made a whole video talking about the ego situation with frank ocean and a lot of people on tiktok said no he can post the songs you know he can drop the songs you know and some people were saying he could and I had a lot of conversation with a lot of people on Instagram. Shout out to everybody that reached out to me. I love reading your comments. I love when you interact with me in my DMs. Honestly, follow me on Instagram. I love when y'all show me stuff like this. It's amazing having these discussions. And somebody actually convinced me that he's going to drop it on streaming services. At first, I said he couldn't. The Eagles don't like him. They're never going to clear the sample. But then I thought about what other samples he needs to be cleared. Coldplay, you know, Strawberry Swing. Coldplay messes with Frank. They love him. Chris Martin said he was a fan. He was supposed to go on tour with them in Europe and back in 2012, 2011. MGMT, if not mistaken, I think they're fans of Frank Ocean. So I don't believe they would not let it pass, you know, the, the sampling, clear the samples. Mr. Hudson with There Will Be Tears. Mr. Hudson, you know, used to work with Kanye. They were in good music together. Frank Ocean is a huge Kanye West fan and Kanye West is a huge Frank Ocean fan. So they have a good relationship. I'm sure Kanye West can hit a call. Mr. Hudson, what's good? Clear the sample. So besides that, what other samples would be on that project, man? I'm talking about like there's Coldplay, Strawberry Swing. There's MGMT, you know, Nature Feels. There's There Will Be Tears, Mr. Hudson, Frank Ocean. At this point, I just think he can clear the samples, bro. And I think Think he's just gonna make maybe a new version he's done it in actually shows where he played american wedding how tells out california for the eagles and he just switched up you know the beat uh, we had an american wedding Ooh, what's mine is yours that's american love so if he switches it up, I believe it can pass. And I think that why he's shooting a new cover, because people are like, why the hell would he shoot a new cover for a project that already exists? Like, what's the point? What I'm thinking is that he's going to redo American Wedding. So that's going to make it a whole new mixtape. And I think he's going to add maybe bonus tracks to it, which I would think is unfortunate because I want a new project. But listen, that mixtape is a decade old. I think it's a celebration. He's doing something big. And they've always said that when per a person does Coachella, they have to drop an album before or after something like that. This is technically dropping something new, I guess. So I think he's going to do that. 
that's what I'm expecting. And you know what, guys, if you say in the comments I'm wrong, I hope I am. Because I hope he drops new music. I hope it's something new. But from everything I'm looking at, I believe that Frank Ocean is going to drop Nostalgia Ultra on all streaming services. That's what I think at this point. That's all I believe is going to happen. So at this point, I, if you don't think this is enough evidence, I, I just don't know what to tell you, man. With BMW USA posting the E30 with, you know, the Paperboy leaks, you know, with a BMW E30 being around Coachella, all of this stuff, Frank Ocean headlining, like... It just seems improbable that he's not going to do that. And I know people said like, and I made mul multiple videos. You can check them out. I'm talking about what you know about Frank Ocean's next album. I know he was shopping it around. I know, you know, he did a lot of things with Blonde Radio in terms of, you know, LSD. And he was promoting the LSD t-shirts. Maybe, you know, this is a teaser for a new project. You know, he did it with Endless where he dropped like a fake project and then he dropped the real thing. Maybe trying to pump fake us. We don't know with Mr. Bro. We don't know with Frank Ocean. We will never know, but that's all I have for today. So if you have any more information, let me know in the comments. Yo, guys, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share, man. And guys, I am going to Coachella week one, so I have a huge group chat. We're like 30 in it. Huge Frank Ocean fans. We're all going to be together. We're going to have a great time. So if you want to be added to that group chat, hit me up on Instagram. Please hit me up. I'll add you to the chat. And guys, yo, thank you so much for watching. And listen. For, for, for not too far away from figure Frank Ocean Live, seeing Frank Ocean Live. So this is this is a dream come true. This is going to be fun, and hopefully we'll see what happens, man. And that's all I got to say. So, guys, um, as usual, keep it supreme.